Alright, it's time to build my shelf or finish building it for the uh, bus entrance and I'll explain a little bit here. This originally I did build for my house and what it was designed to do, custom build to hold all the uh, RPG games that I have, that's something I'll explain later. But what I need to do is in behind where the door opens is a narrower space than this here. So fortunately I never glued anything. All I have to do is cut down this to fit an area that's seven inches wide. And I already have the spaces marked where these shelves are going to go in. So the next step I'll have to cut these shelves down so they'll fit inside. The only difference is that because this is so narrow, I'll have to put the L bracket and uh, mount those prior to the shelf going in, maybe even before I put this together, because uh, it'll be so narrow I may not be able to get a drill gun in there unless I have an offset one. So we're going to get started on that, and I'll finish disassembling this and cut everything down to what I need. Alright, so what I have done next is, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to put these brackets all back in place. Uh, again, because it'll be much easier to do this and then assemble it after the fact. And what I did just to make sure everything is still lined up, I only had to move one shelf location down here further down so that the height of the books fit in pretty well. <music> Before I forget, be sure to check out, and I'll put the link in below, Shane's main shop, my uh, brother's channel who gave me this idea. Uh, I wanted to use somehow wooden dowels in front to keep, you know, when I'm going down the road, to keep this stuff from sliding in and out. Alright, let me bring you up to date on where I'm at so far. I've cut all these wooden dowels. 
and I ended up going a slightly larger diameter on the hole in the side to make them so they slip out nice and easy. So it's going to do the work of keeping these in place as some kind of mechanism on the side. And I sanded them down a little bit so they all fit just right on the inside. And what I was able to use from my father's workshop is this long drill so I could go straight through. I measured and marked and everything looks uh, pretty good. So the ultimate end result is when I'm going down the road, uh, all my books or whatever's up in here will stay in place, not fall out. And these will come out pretty easily when I need them to. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what the uh, end result will look like here and how these dowels will be held in. So normally this will slide in and stay in place just like that. I have these pieces here which will slide out. Gravity will help keep it in place here and I'll show you what I'm going to do to, uh, to attach this. Line it up with the right spot. And I am going to pre-drill a little bit for where the screw is going to get started. And I'm also using not only a screw that has the flat end to help this move, but also a washer setup. And the, the best option is to do this by hand, but I'm going to still use my corded drill, just, I mean my cordless very carefully. because I do not want to overstrip. So I'm going to do that on the rest of these. Oh, actually I'll need to raise that up a little bit because otherwise that won't come out. So that's good to know. So we can redo that and I'll still be able to cover up that hole after. All right, let's try that again. that will do it just barely so I'll finish those and this will be ready to install all right so here's the final setup this is going to slide in right here just like this all right as you can see this bookshelf is now in place uh, now, although this sticks out a little bit here, uh, I'll still be able to use this to put books in. I'm, you know, like maybe this one spot here will be slightly less, but I want to show you what I needed to do along this side here. I had failed to take into account and didn't realize that this 2x4 stuck out further than this counter edge. So when I went to slide this whole case in, it lined up with this. Uh, but not with that section. So what I had to do is I took uh, this, you know, this will be covered. You'll never see this. Uh, I took a skill saw. I set the depth so it did not go into the wall, and I went up as far as I could. Then I used a hammer and chisel to smooth out that section so that this slides into place. Now what I'll be doing next is you can see I've got a um, bracket there. i got one further down below. And I have three holes I've cut in an angle that will be going into the side here. And I'm going to use that to keep it in place. So now that this uh, this is definitely not going anywhere, I've got again three screws in the side. 
a couple of L brackets in back. Each of these wooden dowels will keep the tall books from coming out. And the easiest way that I'll be using this, uh, well, let me also explain what these are for. These are for when I go down the road so that nothing is falling out. So all I really have to do is I just do this right here, slide that wooden dowel, and once I'm at a permanent, you know, semi-permanent location, I'll have easy access to each of these cubby holes. Now, eventually, I may do something different with this. I've kept the spare wood. Let me slide this back in here. And um, I'm going to make some little, I'll fill that in up there, but I'm going to make some little pocket or um, tray to hold these wooden dowels uh, when I'm not using them. And my door will also open and close. I got still plenty of space to walk in and out. And I might use some little buffer thing on there, but I think it'll be all right. All right, so I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, the idea for these, uh, how to put these dowels in, uh, came from my brother, uh, Shane's main shop. I will post a link in the description below this video.